Everyone, welcome back to my Sleeping Dogs playthrough. Last time, we had just unlocked the central island, or excuse me, the central district of Hong Kong. We got the central, very schnazzy looking apartment, which reminds me very much of like a Central Park style apartment in New York City. And we were going around doing stuff. We are supposed to do the drug bust. And when we tried to do it, it said I missed it or something, which I don't really understand. I guess we could try again. Let's see if it lets me do it now, or if it's still like Tang. I can't do it. I don't really understand it. No, here we go. So I can do it now. Okay. I'm just going to guess it's the guy who's very, very angry and yelling that's going to be the guy I need to arrest. There we go. The. It's always the guy in the suit. Yep. We got them. We got them. That apparently was it. Okay, then. I don't know why it wasn't working last time that I played, but now it is. Okay, a couple shout-outs. Penis Walker Doves to me, $2, said, You fascinate me. That's that's amazing. And then Police Chief CM Fool to me, $4.20, said, Detective DSP, how was the Quiet Man cases? The Quiet Man is not very quiet. He's very loud, and he makes a lot of noise in the city, so we've been able to arrest him multiple times. There you go. All right, so thank you, Police Chief CM Fool. I appreciate that very much. There's a $4.20 tip, the biggest tip of the day so far. That's an additional $6. We're up to $7 in tips tonight. Thank you guys for the support. All right, so we have a lot of options. Um, a lot of options of things that we can do here in the playthrough. If you take a look at the map, we're going to have a lot of objectives that we can do. Derek just said, I noticed in your original Sleeping Dogs playthrough, a lot of the videos end up being muted in parts, but then the audio comes back later. That's because YouTube muted it. Like, YouTube literally said, oh, that's copyrighted music, mute the video, and ruined the playthrough. It sucks that they did that. I obviously never intended the playthrough to have shit like that in it, and I made that in 2012 before YouTube even started with the content ID matching bullshit. So that's one of the major reasons I'm doing this playthrough again. So people want to see a definitive edition of the Sleeping Dogs playthrough. They can watch this one and not have the issues with the music. Uh, mostly these days, if YouTube content ID matches, they don't mute videos. They'll just give the rights to somebody else. And again, I must, I must be honest here, guys. Every day when I play Sleeping Dogs, I upload the videos. At least half the videos get content ID matched anyway. I know that sounds stupid because I'm muting the music in the cars, yet it's just the music playing in the atmosphere of the game. The environment is getting caught and matched, and I'm, I don't give any ad revenue on this playthrough, essentially. So if you are watching this only on YouTube, I would appreciate it if you could contribute. Maybe buy a shirt from my Teespring, or check out my Patreon, or maybe come by a stream and, and drop a tip or something, because really this is making zero on YouTube, okay? Just being very honest. And I appreciate it if you were liking this playthrough, if you could contribute in another way, all right? Long story short, All right. here I am. So let's go ahead and head over to this cop action, and then there's another favor mission. Let's go check it out. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. Uh, that was short-lived. Short-lived! Oh, fucking shit. Okay. We've arrived at the cop mission. <laughs> yes. That guy saw me how bad I was driving, and he face-planted himself. There you go. All tactical units, please come in. We have a heavy gunfire situation. PTU responding, over. Okay. Got his ass. Showed up. I have to admit, you PTU guys are very capable. You guys completely covered in blood. Did you see that? This whole face and body completely slathered in blood. Jeez. More money. Twenty thousand. Is that really what happens if you complete a job as a cop? They just hand you twenty thousand dollars. Is that what happens? I never knew that. I thought the cops got paid like a salary like everyone else. Apparently, you make a bounty. 
if you actually do a good job or something. Um, Turkey Brianna did a hundred material saying, "What's something weird that you find attractive?" Um, gee, let's see. If someone completely glues peanuts all over their body, that's super attractive to me. If you just completely just you know just surround your entire skin and no bare skin, only peanuts. That's super attractive. I don't know what else to say. There you go. Uh, an anonymous uh, tipper, Timmy Dogs, that's police brutality. I mean, yeah, that is pretty much. The cop unloaded completely on these suspects and completely just brutally murdered them so much that their entire body's worth of uh, blood erupted onto the uh, arresting officer's body. I'm pretty sure they get into trouble for that. That was the USA. I don't know what the Hong Kong rules are. That's where we're. Oh, shit. That's where we are right now. But in the USA, you pretty much be fired, tried as a, as a murderer. The same. What's the problem? I bought a whole shipment of birds in the mainland, but they keep losing. I think they must have been feeding them sawdust or something. No. Uh, that's a bet on them. Yes, exactly. I'm just about bankrupt. My only hope is to get the insurance money on the shipment and my truck. Your truck? If someone were to steal it and run into the harbor, I'd be saved. Damn. Chicken kanji. <laughs> so he wants me to kill all the chickens. Wow. Alright, Perky Bianca did 100 bit cheers. What's one rule I live by? Never touch the peanuts. That's the rule I live by. Okay. Let's continue. Hands off the nuts. Rules to live by. Oh boy. Oh. Oh shit, no! Oh. That was close. Oh no! That was close. Alright, here we go. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh! Here goes the favor! Face level up. A lackey will bring you your car anytime, anywhere. Really? How? How does that work? Call hello? for car Oh, here uh, we go. Hello, Mr. Shan. Your vehicles are all good to go. Uh, Give me a call if you need something. Right. So I can call a car valet to bring me a car. That's pretty cool. I don't have to go to parking lots anymore. That's going to help a ton. Uh, let's see here. Big Papa Phil gives it a sub to Bioluminescent Chat. Congratulations to Bioluminescent Chad. Thank you, Big Papa Phil, for support. Tut to me, Dollar Thirty, and says, I, I, uh, "Can you forget about the credit card fraud? It was an accident. Please unban me." <gasps> no. And then Prince Tut also to me, Dollar said, "My dad King Tut were to come back. Would you embrace him and bury the hatchet?" No. And what's funny is both those tips came in from different people at the same time. So it's obvious that those tips are coming in from someone watching another channel, much like a restreamer who is probably joking about stuff and telling them to go in and try to do shit. So. Congratulations on being completely unoriginal, but thank you for the two dollars and tips. Okay. Hey, it's Way. I need a car. A car? Takla! I'll be there right away. So you don't get to choose what car? He just fucking drives a random car up? Yeah, he does, look. This is good enough. Thanks. What? What, this bike? This bike. Oh, okay. Drove a bike up. Alright. Oops. Alright, where do I want to go? Uh, there's another cop activity. Let's do this other cop job. Let's do all the cop stuff and the side side missions. Uh, but they, don't, they usually don't take that long, the side missions. The longest one was the stupid golden cleaver that took like an hour because it was fucking bro broken and shit. Hopefully I can complete all the side major side missions without much trouble. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Ah, bad choice. What was the game that got me the most excited today during the Sony press conference? Ratchet and Clank. Surprisingly enough, fucking Ratchet and Clank, dude. That game really looked great. 
Stop a suspect vehicle. Okay, here we go. Pressing B. Yeah, the, the, the whole the whole arresting thing doesn't actually work. It's under control. I'm bringing the suspect in. It doesn't work. Yeah, I passed the mission. Okay, then. I don't understand what just happened, but I guess I'll accept it. Sure, I passed the mission, whatever you say. I need another car. Hey, it's Wei. I need a car. A car? Takla! I'll be there right away. Perky Brianna, the 100 bit cheering said, What's your biggest fear? Don't say not enough peanuts. My. Whoa. That's one of those uh, things I need to take out. One of those uh, vans I need to take out. He keeps bringing me this bike, go. and I can't think of that without. With wait a minute, maybe I can, right? Because I need to hijack that that truck, right? For money. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can catch up to that truck. I doubt it. So my biggest fear is not not enough peanuts. It's ridiculous. My biggest fear is too many peanuts. There you go. All right, I gotta look for it. I probably lost it. Probably despawned. Yeah, I don't see it. Anymore. The car despawned. That's fine, we got another cop action straight ahead to do this one. Okay. Another oh fuck, another suspect vehicle to stop. destroyed his car, and he's still fucking he's getting away. It's stupid. I gotta do it again. Okay. Uh, give it a push. You're doing the fresh mistake. Voila! There we go. Wait, what? He got back into his car. What the fuck? Good luck. Bring him in alive. I kicked the van and said property damage. He's gonna have a rough night. Is that it? It doesn't make any sense. I didn't apprehend them yet. It still works. It worked. It counted. Oh my god, it makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. CM Fool to me dollar thirty he says, You passed a Jade statue ten minutes ago. Oh gee, thanks, CM Fool. Thanks for telling me. I, I did miss it. If I if, if you're serious, that sucks, I'll never find it again. If that's the case, I'm going to guess they don't show them on the map. Let's see. Do they show them on the map if you see them? Nah, I don't think so. Alright, what's the next closest thing? That's a cockfight. I don't really want to... Oh, no, that's martial arts club. Oh. There's two more cop uh, activities. There's two more surveillance missions. See that? Drug bus. Alright, let's do that. Let's go do a drug bus. My day is going well. Uh, Joni to Jack one thing for asking. The Sony conference was fun to cover earlier, even though it wasn't. It wasn't all that I had expected. I had hoped for more. 
Sadly, we, we barely got any game release dates, and the few that we got, most of them are not coming out with the release of PS5, which is very disappointing. Um, but, it was fun to cover. You know, there was no official E3 this year, so to be able to do at least a little bit of game, major game coverage was fun. And, uh... You know, now I get to play some fun games at night. I love, I'm, I'm really loving the Sleeping Dogs play. Either. I hope you guys are liking it. I don't know why I didn't call for a vehicle. How do I feel about cockfights? I don't. I've never seen one. I don't really know much about them. Um, obviously, you're pitting two animals in a death battle against each other. It's pretty fucked up. Uh, so I probably would not support them. Unless there's something I, I, I'm not misunderstanding about them. Derek's enjoying the playthrough. Awesome, Derek. Thank you for telling me. Just some street food. I'll probably buy some. Healing powers help you out. You need food? I Roasted got duck. duck. I'm starving. That sounds good. Roasted what did duck. I say, you feel healthy, strong, strong like cool. Yeah. Good. And throw it right in the street. Nice littering. All right. What the fuck was Oh my god, he hit that guy. I kept floating around and doing weird shit. That was so stupid. <laughs> I floated over a guy and stomped on his head and landed and kicked another one. And then there I was floating up the wall. What is going on, man? Oh my god. This is the definitive edition. I think they could have defined it a little more. They could have. <laughs> they should have done a little bit extra defining on this edition. There's a, a few problems here. All right. Oh my god. I was looking for like a, a uh, either like a, a shrine or a briefcase, but I don't see anything glowing right now. Right? I don't see anything. Oh man, roasted duck is great. Roasted duck, it's a, it's a, it's a fatty meat. But it's full of flavor, and there's so many ways you can have duck, and each every one is like so good. You smoked duck, roasted, grilled, fried, plum, uh, so many. It's so good. All right. Will Romeo give me a dollar? Your thoughts on life? Life is grand. Life is grand. Don't take it for granted and enjoy every moment you get. How about that? That's my thoughts on life. Okay. I'm gonna try again. Hopefully, I don't float away. Anonymous Dollar 32 I thought your most anticipated game is Bug Snacks. Bug fucking snacks. If there was ever a reason to buy a console, it's Bug Snacks. If there was ever a reason to play video games, it's Bug Snacks. If there is a fucking reason to get up in the morning, if you can't find another reason tomorrow that you say, I wanna get out of bed and live my life, it's anticipating the release of Bugs fucking Snacks. I'm sorry. This is a game that's gonna change the world. I'm telling you guys. Bug Snacks. I am there. Release day. I told you guys. Spider-Man? That's eh, okay. Fucking God, what a Godfall or whatever the fuck it is? That's probably alright. Maybe it's just average. But fucking Bug Snacks, dude? You don't fuck with the bug snacks or else this happens to you. 
This is what happens. You fuck with the bug snacks, motherfucker. Did you say bug snack sucks? Is that what you say? Bug snack sucks, huh? Yeah? You think bug snack sucks? Let me show you what sucks. Show you what fucking sucks, huh? Talk shit about my fucking bug snacks, bitch. It's from the makers of Octo fucking Dad, son. Octo Dad. Octo Dad. Octo fucking Dad. Octo Dad. All right, I guess I gotta get up and fight these guys. It's not counting. This is not fucking good. No shit. You not see how many guys I fucked up? This guy looks like he wants some fucking bug snacks. I don't know about you. Look at this. Oh. Oh, now, oh, now you want to fight. Oh, that's it. I'm going to carve myself some bug snacks. Come here, fuck, there's a snack out of your man. Oh, shit. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. Oh, come on. Seriously? My fucking bug snacks. Fuck. <sighs> All right. Someone wants me to unblock them on PayPal. Uh, on Streamlabs. No, if I blocked you on PayPal on Streamlabs, you probably said something disgusting or something derailing to his stream, and you probably repeatedly were tipping uh, to annoy the fuck out of me, and the answer is no, you can't get unblocked. Sorry. Bug snacks. Uh, that's fucking stupid. I ran them over with the car a million times. They wouldn't die. You notice that? So you... Oh, what the... Dude, this game is full of bugs right now. Anyway, so you can hit them with your car... But it doesn't affect anything at all. Like, they're just fine. They get right back up. You have to physically beat them up. <clears throat> bug snacks, baby. You see a snack, it moves like a bug. You shove it in your fucking mug. It's bug snacks, bug snacks, bug snacks. Bang, bang, yang. What was I doing? Okay. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go watch the Bug Snacks trailer on the internet. One of the best games I've ever fucking seen. Uh, Vaznir, subscribe to the channel! Shit, thank you, Vaznir, for the sub. Spawn Killer tip me a dollar thirty. says, you know you can press select button to pull up a map? No, I thought you had to go through the menu. I didn't know select was also the map. Excuse me. I think you Spawn Killer. For the tip. Important cartology tip there. From Spawn Killer. Thank you, sir. Oops. Don't worry, guys. Book stacks will make that all better. Kick me. There 
There we go. Fuck that shit. Chop him up. Still not dead? Finally. Dude, that was ridiculous. I had to beat up so many. I had to beat up so many. Oh. Did that guy just get in a taxi and drive away? I think he did. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck this. And he took a, a taxi fare away. I'm so afraid. All right, well. Oh, my God. Spawn killer, thank you for that dollar tip. Twitch counselor to me, doctor. What do you think is the most understood thing people think about me? By far is it people think I'm I'm a hateful guy who just hates on things and that's my shtick. Like they think the king of hate, so all he does is sits there and hates on games and hates on game developers. And that's not the truth at all. I play games for fun. I play for positivity. I want my streams to be positive. But that's what idiots say all the time. They make shit up about me. So people don't believe that I'm actually here to just enjoy a game. They think I'm some kind of a negative toxic dick, which I'm not. Okay. Nine. Oh, nice. So this is nine. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Very good. Can't get in. What happened? My car doesn't work? Oh, my car's stuck on the stairs. I can get the door open. Yes, the creators of Octodad made bug snacks. <laughs> bug snacks? Bug snacks. The name of the fucking game is Bug Snacks. Alright. Shit. Oh, he drove into me. Oh! Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. I didn't mean to do it. The guy drove into me and bounced me off of him, and I drove into a dead. No, I did not see anything about the Miles Morales Spider-Man run in the comics. I never read those comics. I stopped reading comics in, like, the early 2000s. I haven't read one since. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Spawn Killer took me a dollar 30. He said, I didn't send you that tip. Oh, really, Spawn Killer? Then again, this could be also oh, someone saying that, that you didn't send it. I know who knows what this yeah. is. Who knows what's going on? Spawn Killer is usually a positive tipper, so I actually believe that that was probably Spawn Killer who sent me that tip. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get him. What the fuck? That's him right there. I'm positive ID on suspect. Something broke there that he was standing next to. It's always the same guy in the same suit. It's the identical guy every time that we arrest. It's never enough. The tires! Dude, the tires are about to crush him. Did you see that? The tires are about to crush the suspect. <laughs> wow. We got them. We got them. We squished them. We squished them. Okay. Oh, achievement. Officer. Complete 25% of all missions, cases, favors, events, jobs, and races in the game. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go with this one now. Fast disarm, wake and disarm, good wheeling enemies without a struggle. Cool. Very nice, like the expert disarmer. And that's not a Becky Lynch reference. Cool. We got them. We got them. So let's see. We got one more surveillance mission. We got two more cop actions. Remember, I wanted to do this one. I couldn't figure out how to access it. The game was not clear on how you're actually supposed to access this one. Water, see, it says water access? I don't know. All right, let's do this one, I guess. 
So you have full tip me a dollar thirty and says you missed a health shrine twenty minutes ago. Gee thanks, CM Fool. <laughs> thanks a lot. Ugh. Hair in my mouth. Ugh. Ugh. I hate when I get hair in my mouth. Derek says, I love your Octodad playthrough. It was so funny. Yeah, Octodad, uh, Deadliest Catch, right? That's the one I played. I never played the original. I played the sequel. Two frogs, one lean to be in Dodge. Would you say the Vesco is some of the positive karma you received lately? Um, I mean, yeah. Things have been going pretty good for me lately. And I'm happy about that. Of course, in my life, that I, I, I kind of be cynical. Because it's very rare when I have a long period of positivity that doesn't isn't followed by negativity. So what I'm hoping is I can actually have a period of positivity that lasts a few uh, months to years. That would be fucking nice. Instead of having like two months of positivity and then two years of misery. That, that would be very nice. But I don't know what's going to happen. I guess we'll have to see. But definitely the vest streak and you guys being so positive on the streams of support is definitely a huge positive in my life right now. <clears throat> um... The real W Day Day to me dollar thirty said check PayPal for longtime fans, and uh, because they're tipping as longtime fans. No, the thing is about it, I can't, I can't on the fly tell if someone's legit or not. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Anyone can make up any name, and that's what comes through Streamlabs. Now maybe on the back end, once all the payments clear, and I have a chance to review my PayPal account, sometimes you can see. Oh, okay, here's someone who was the real fan. And here's someone who was the impersonator. You can see the differences from the information and stuff. There's no way on the fly I can verify if someone's real or not with a tip. It's just not possible. I wish there was, but that's not how it works. It, it just lets you make up anything you want, so. Okay. All right, here we go. And sometimes it's, it doesn't even help at all, because sometimes things are done completely anonymously, in which case there's no way to confirm anyone's identity. Um, so, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, really. Oh, shit. I said before I could check PayPal to see if the tip is real or not. Yeah, what I mean by that is I can see, oh, gee, did someone send it from a legit account and then immediately, like, charge it back? Or does it look like it's going to sit? A lot of people, if they're going to be trolls, they'll tip and then they'll charge it right back. To try to get it back, which of course doesn't work, but they'll go for it right away because they're assholes. <laughs> Grab this, bitch. I fucking counter. What? Nothing hit me! What was that? Nothing hit me at all! Dude, come on. Nothing hit me. Just I just all of a sudden went ragdoll and flew away. No, <laughs> no one struck me at all. Perky Brianna cheered and said, Bug Snacks is the future of gaming. I hope you play it when it comes out so you can be on the right side of history. Likely I will. I mean, how could you not? How could you call yourself a gamer and not fucking play Bug Snacks? I don't know how. I don't know how. Two Frogs, One Lean cheers said, Just so you know, I never tip, I only cheer. So what Two Frogs, One Lean is saying is if a tip comes in in his name, it's not really Two Frogs, One Lean. It's a, it's a dastardly... In, or actually, did they call it a dastard? Remember yesterday we were playing um, Fire Emblem and they called someone a dastard? So you, it's a dastard. A dastard is using your identity, Dan. No, I never played any Jet League game on PS2, Darkseid Johnson. I used to drive one of those. Then I lost my job. And... Yeah, Derek, I don't know what to say. The physics tonight, there's a, some major problems tonight with the physics in the game. I don't know what happened. But I, I'm, I'm flying over enemies. I'm bouncing off of walls. I'm getting hit Here by invisible I attacks. And I don't know what's going on. Alright. Oh, sh oh! Ooh. Oh, uh, Play Scratch Study Adventure asked, am I going to try all the side mission types? Like, fight clubs and chicken fights. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Like, if I remember, 
a lot of the things is just easy. Oh, come on! Jesus! Why don't you just fucking kick him in when he's down? Fuck you, man. Alright, stop fucking hitting me with your goddamn car right now. I'm gonna pull you out of it. Okay. But anyway. I don't know, like, I remember, like, anything that's, like, the, the, the generic stuff isn't very really good. It's meant to just be kind of filler content where we raise money, which you never really need in this game. You have an exorbitant amounts of money in the game. It's not a big issue, so... I don't know if I'll end up doing those or not. Shit, shut the fuck up. Shit, fuck. Ow. Disarmed him. Oh god, I stabbed him with his own knife. They're still fighting me and I can't attack! I can't attack! Fucker. Alright, did I fucking complete it now? Jesus Christ, they kept attacking me! Oh. Alright, they all died. Finally. Now. What's weird about this? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's the box? It's over here. That was fucking messy. Phew. Okay. RBG fan cheered and said, what if Snowcrawl's in the car and he's going to run you over for banning him? You guys are still... How many weeks has it been since Snowcrawl got banned? Three weeks? Two weeks? You're still talking about it. Grow up and get a life. Move the fuck on. I mean it. Anonymous five dollar tipper it says, "Do you remember the really fun stealth mission for the first Spider-Man game? Get ready because there's about to make a big comeback with Miles Morales. That's right, Miles Morales, the Spider-Man. Um, yeah, I remember. I remember there was a good variety of missions, and some of them were a major pain in the ass. But there was also a good mix of missions. So overall, it was a great game." Uh, Richie Rich to me a dollar. I can't wait till I receive my vest t-shirt from Teespring. Every time you reach the vest goal, I'll be able to put on my shirt like your vest. Thanks for everything you rock. The vest gives the underdogs like us a reason to keep fighting. Thank you, Richie Rich, for the dollar tip and the nice positive message. I hope you enjoy your shirt. I actually haven't checked to see if anyone's bought any merch in the last two days. I wonder if anyone did. Okay. Well. Nine and six are correct. Whew, okay. So nine and six, that means these two have to be six and nine. Let's try five here. Five, six, and nine are all correct. 
Six? Nine. Let's try four. Or three. Oh! So this has to be nine, and this has to be six. This maybe is two. Oh no, this just has to be five, so this maybe is two here. Nope, one. Nope, zero. Got it. Okay. Alrighty, guys, very nice. Oh, let's see here. RPG fan cheers we just experienced the death of our friend. It feels like it's been four or five weeks to get over it. First of all, no one died. Being banned from the stream chat is not the same as dying, and if you equate it to that, you're pretty fucked up if you think that death is the same as being banned from the stream chat. It's not funny. Uh, and number two, it's been weeks. It wasn't just, it was weeks ago. Bleach number nine cheer said, How come the cheer thresholds for the bits are not 25 or 30? It's a bit more than most streamers. First of all, I don't think that's true, but the reason is very simple. When I first started, I might try to do a race here. When I first started streaming three years ago, I had it as the very, very basic, uh, what was it, like five bits, ten bits? It was a monster spam. You had people spamming, insulting, disgusting things non-fucking-stop. So it wasn't until I upped it to 50 bits as the threshold and 100 bits as, like, the on-screen pop-up that that spam stopped. I've had this for over two years. I think it's been, like, two and a half years. Everyone's okay with it, so I'm keeping it. Perky Brianna Cheers said, what's the best gift you ever received? Who was it from? The best gift I ever received and who was it from? Oh, man. You're gonna make me think about my whole fucking life now. And what gifts I received and shit. Like, seriously? I don't like putting... I seriously don't like putting qualifiers on stuff like that. I don't. You know, people have asked me, what's your best present you ever got when you were a kid? Well, I remember getting Super NES Christmas morning. I remember getting Castle Grayskull playset from He-Man one Christmas morning, which is insanely cool. I remember having some really cool birthday parties at, like, Duckman Bowling or an arcade. Um, my wife is very nice. Sometimes she'll surprise me with a present. She'll give me a nice shirt or something, you know, for me to wear on my streams. I love when she does that. I love that she actually thinks about, thinks about me and gets me stuff like that completely, like, on... I don't ask... Oh, fuck. I don't ask for it. She just does it out of the kindness of her heart. She loves me, you know? I love that about her. Um, but anyway, I gotta concentrate on this race, so... I can't really dig too much uh, further into it. How about this? The best present I ever received was my wife's hand in marriage, and she said yes. How about that? And she said I do. Oh, fuck! That was the best present I ever got. That's the best present I'll ever get. What's going on? Oh, shit, I hit a public wall or something. Okay. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Here we go! Easy! Easy race! Easy race. First shot, baby. Very good. Alright. Bleach number nine just earned himself a permanent ban and he's never coming back. I'm serious. He thinks it's funny. It's not. You're banned. RPG fan just cheated some weeks. Are you saying he's still alive? That's great. Yes. Uh, Snow Carl's not dead. Okay. So it's funny, some of the races are insanely hard, and that one was, like, piss easy, right? <laughs> that one I just did, like, first shot. Here's another cop job. This is good. We're just driving around the city doing all the side stuff. It's fun. It's fun to just be able to open up a new area and just go around doing a big variety of missions. Back to back to back and have fun with it. Golden Nobles, too, said, I, would, I told my friend group about you, now I'm going to keep up the group. Well, I don't know what that means, Golden Nobles. But thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. Well, the frame rate is tanking right now. Wait a minute, I can't. How do I get. Oh, watch this. Excuse me! I got a cop job to do. Excuse me, clear the street. Oh, excuse me. Tip error? What do you mean? Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess that was a tip error, huh? Armed robbery. Let me fix the tip error. That is not correct. Uh, what happened here? Uh-oh. Is the keyboard not working? The keyboard's dang. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, come on. It's working, but now I have no idea how many tips we had. Does anyone know? Does anyone know what we were at? I guess I got to add here. I think we're at $25. Because I think we were at 20 So I think we're at $25 in tips. That's because it was that anonymous $5 tipper. No, 26 Because it was 5 and 6 So we're at $26 in tips. Right? Yes. We're at $26 in tips tonight. That's right. Yeah. That's correct. 26 Okay. We need a tactical unit on the scene. We're coming as fast as we can. Here we go. I was definitely not at fifty-seven dollars. You're out of your mind. Hell no. I was at like twenty, and then I received a five-dollar anonymous tip and the tip from Richie Rich. That should be twenty-six. All right. Y'all under arrest! I can't arrest them, they won't let me. Look, I got them, they won't let me arrest them. Oh! Stand down on the legal force. Can we bring them in alive? That was easy. We ran into my arm. Stop struggling. You're under arrest. The paperwork for this is going to be insane. I have no idea how many bullets I fired. Look how covered in blood they are. <laughs> Spawn killer to me $1.30 and said, said, I ever played King's Field? I've never played a King's Field game. No. Absolutely not. I don't even know what it is. Thank you for the tip. Okay. Derek said he really likes my new profile pic and my background pic on Twitter. Yeah, all it is is me doing a selfie last night and my Jasper under a freaking mat in my kitchen. That's all it is. They figure... If, if Twitter takes those down for false DMCA, there's nothing I can do at all. I have no protection because that means they can claim for anything. I literally those pictures out of my fucking phone that I took myself, so. I want to see if I can do this. I don't think I can, though. I'm going to try to figure this out. Uh, let's see. Sam sent me two bucks. Says, do you think Sony's waiting for Microsoft to reveal the price for the Xbox before they tell us the price of the PS5? It's likely. It's likely because it's very odd. They essentially did their entire presentation showing everything they wanted to, all the specs and everything. Like, everything's known for PS5, but the pricing and the release date. Golden Nobles Cheers said, what I meant by that is they looked up to YouTube and they love your content. Oh, okay, well, that's very nice, Golden Nobles. Thank you, then, for spreading the word about my content. I appreciate that, man. What I would hope is they like my current content as much as the old stuff. Because the old stuff is very dated, you know. Like, my first playthrough of this where I was making freaking stupid ching Chang chong jokes and everything every five seconds about egg rolls and dumb shit. And now I can actually enjoy the game and not have to make those stupid questions, or stupid jokes and comments. Instead, I can just enjoy the game for what it is. Now, how do I get down here? I gotta figure this out. There's gotta be a way to get down there. Right? Oops. Maybe from down here. See that? But how do I access that? I don't know how to access that lower area. Maybe I just gotta go on foot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This way. Let's see. Oh, shit. God damn it. Fuck. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, I see it. It's right here. Wait, it's not. No, it's not. Fuck. Can you swim in this game? Yes! Oh, shit! I... Forgot you could swim. Completely forgot you could swim. Here we go. Okay, let's see what's going on out down here with these assholes. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Oh, 
god, I'm gonna get killed. Don't run up the wall, run away and get your health back. Fuck. It says there's only three guys left, so I killed a lot of them. God, there's so many. I only have 14 bullets. I have two bullets. What's going on? He's attacking the wall. Dude, he attacked the wall like 20 times. Instead of attacking the guy standing in front of him shooting him. Yeah, the targeting went completely off. That was fucking stupid shit. Oh my god. I don't think I can win this. He won't attack the guy in front of him! Oh my god. Seriously? That was pathetically bad. Oh. No! Oh, okay. I survived. They died when they hit the water, but I survived? Now that's fucking weird. That's really weird. Oh shit, there's two of them. What am I gonna do here? Well, I got a headshot, but now I'm out of ammo. God. Damn! That was a hell of a fucking uh, drug bust mission right there with all those guns. Now, it showed it was another guy. I guess he disappeared. He must have run away. Look at all these fucking weapons sitting here, dude. An assault rifle with a tack light. Oh, man. That's a good gun right there. This is what gotta be like one of the tougher ones in the game with all these assholes here. So the question is, where is the surveillance camera? Oh whoa. Empty room, that's probably where they spawned from. There it is. Okay. Alright, I got a bunch of shout-outs to do. Hold on a second here. <clears throat> so Beastbot to me, dollar thirty says Microsoft are saying they're waiting for Sony to unveil the price of the PS5, then they'll charge a hundred dollars less on the Xbox Series X. I mean, it could be a good strategy unless no one ever unveils pricing, right? Someone's got to go at some point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Golden Noble Street says I told them to look up classic and new to get the full course meal. Probably the best way to go about it. Uh, lies is to me a dollar said don't take this the wrong way not thinking out just thinking out loud when you said the racist jokes when you first played the game was someone forcing you to say them it's okay to admit and say you've gotten better as a person no of course no one was forcing me to say them it was me it was i told you back then from 2008 to all the way through i would say probably 2015 2016 no lie it was hard because i was trying to maintain entertainment with the no interactivity it was just me and the game and that was it okay so, originally, my appeal on YouTube was being the guy who was over-the-top, zany comedy kind of commentary, 
no regard, you know, no respect and no regard. It was just equal opportunity offender, equal opportunity kind of jokester. And that's who I was known as, the guy who wouldn't pull any punches, you know, swearing at the top all, all, all the time like a sailor, insulting every race, including my own. You know, I made fun of the Italians so much in a game like Assassin's Creed 2, right? That's who I was. That's how I entertained my audience back then. Um, that's what separated me from the people who were just doing boring as dirt walkthroughs, going like this and doing commentary. Oh, I'm surrounded by a bunch of enemies, so what I'll have to do is take cover behind this corner, and then you can reload actively by pressing the right bumper. Like, that's... I'm serious, that's what was on YouTube when I started. Um, I popularized... I didn't originate. I popularized the improv comedy style and improv commentary style Let's Play. Um... I didn't even call it a let's play. I called it a playthrough. But it was me. I made those choices to do that commentary. I thought that was what was going to get me over. That was what was going to retain my audience. Because outside of that, it was like, what else do you comment about? Wow, look at the detail on the fucking wall. Look at that slime on the wall there. That's really entertaining, right? So, because of that, that was the kind of shit that I did. All right? And I own it. I've told you guys many times over the years, I regret the stuff that I said and did. I know now that it was wrong and that it was hurtful. But back then, I didn't know any better. I thought that, hey... You know, everything's fair game, and, you know, wow, dare you get offended by anything I would say or do, right? Um, if I was popular on YouTube, obviously I'm doing the right thing, and you're wrong if you think that I'm not doing the right thing, because I'm the one who's popular and you're not. That was my attitude back then. Since then, I've greatly changed, I've wisened up, I've matured, I'm a way different guy in 2020 than I was in 2012, that's for fucking sure. So that's why I don't do that kind of shit anymore, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm sorry that I did that, that I ever did that. I think it's fucked up that I did that stuff back then. All right, no one made me do it. It was all on me, but I'm definitely a different person now. Uh, Ninstar Root Series, over the record, no Destiny 3 for at least three years, only bigger expansions. They'll honor DLC and progression when PS5 and uh, the new Xbox comes out. They're doing big world-changing events here in September. Perga Brianna Cheers says, my mom thinks you're cute. That's fascinating. Ponage 101, to be $2.36. This is my contribution for the stream. Well, thank you, Ponage. I appreciate that. I think it's up to $33 of tips tonight. Instar Root says, do you think George Carlin would be upset about how the world is today? Probably yes. I mean, he was upset about the world before he passed away. Today, he probably wouldn't even want to be alive. I'm serious. So. Okay. All wrong. Okay. So let's do... Five and three, and let's do one. Nope, so this has to be five, and this has to be zero. Ta-da! All right. Pergy Brianna says, edgy jokes are much more entertaining, to be honest. Well, to a, a certain audience. Everything is always for a certain audience, you know? And, listen, was it funny and fun to be able to feel like I could say or do whatever the hell I wanted back then? Yeah, I felt like, man... I really have no one I answer to. I have no bosses. I have no one who can complain and get me into any kind of trouble. And, you know, the sky's the limit with what I do on YouTube. I can do no harm. You know, that's how I felt. That's back, again, when I was very immature and I didn't realize the things I say and do can have repercussions and can affect people and stuff like that. You know, now I realize it's very different that, no, the things that I say and do do have consequences. They can concretely hurt people. You know what I mean? Um, and I've learned that over time. But it took a long time for me to understand that and kind of grow up and, and learn that. You know, after seeing years and years how wrong I could have been. How many years did I say Minecraft was a game just for kids? And I finally play it. I'm like, this game is fucking great. You know, just things like that opened my eyes. I'm like, damn, how many things did I do over the years that were really stupid? And then I wised up. But like I said, I 100% enjoy these new streams. Instead of me trying to feel, oh, wow, it's wet. Oh, I'm... I'm Chinese and I'm wet. Let me make stupid racist jokes about swimming in the water because I'm a wet Chinese guy. This is what I would have done eight years ago. Instead, I can sit here and talk to you guys and have a natural conversation and not have to feel like I need to fill the dead air constantly with offensive stuff. You see what I mean? I, it's, I don't have to do that stupid shit anymore. New Star Room cheered and said, I was watching the Chappelle Netflix stand-up. Ah, here we go. From a while back, he literally was saying he was quitting stand-up because people get too offended these days. Yeah, everyone gets offended by everything. It's true. <laughs> How was dinner tonight? It was all right. We had turkey hot dogs. I wanted hot dogs. Cat was like, well, hot dogs are full of fat. 
and, and sodium and things that are bad, can we get something that's healthier? So in the store, we found turkey hot dogs, and we they were Oscar Mayer turkey hot dogs. They actually tasted good. They tasted like real hot dogs. And they were way healthier for you than regular hot dogs. So that's what we have for dinner. Woohoo. Very exciting story, I'm sure. Why everyone always asks me what I have for dinner, I have no idea, but without fail, every string. Get bratwursts? I saw they have different kinds of sausages and stuff that you can get that are very healthy for you, not like hot dogs, like, you know, like, uh, like, like turkey <laughs> sausage and stuff like that. That's probably quite good. I can't get up here. How do I get out of here? How the fuck do I get out of here? Uh. Oh, here we go. This way. Oh, man. How do I put the gun away? How do I put... How do I put the gun away? I have no idea. I don't know if I can put the gun away. Or drop the gun. I don't know how to do it. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm stuck with this gun forever, apparently. I can't. I can't drop it. Maybe I'll do this race while I'm here. I'll do this race while I'm here. Then after this race, I'll go back to my apartment and I'll do this uh, this drug bust. Okay. 